next one was uh, just finding somewhere to put the controller which is a MPPT controller and um, which looks like that just put it there under the um, just the, st the steps and um, nothing to it really the um so you've got the um the second part was connecting this this is my fuse box and it goes through to the uh, engine room that's just 12 volt 12 volt stuff and um, we've got a little rail here so I'm gonna I've got the other fuse here what I'm gonna do is just put it on that on the existing rail to add to the existing fuses um, so I've run my cable down um, this is the cable got the positive here that's from the batteries and then we've got a negative here so we've got the two cables we need to run this positive through the fuse um, and uh, that's what's recommended you've got a breaker that's what they tell you to do so that's what I'm going to do and then it's going to come out and it's going to go it's going to go around there and then we're going to take it under here and it's going to connect up to this controller here we've got the controller here but I'm going to I've removed this and I'm going to connect the what connect the cables up and then connect it again and put it put it on the wall just because it's, it's much simpler um, than working down there which is going to be difficult really you won't be able to get to those so I'm going to put them on um, and then I'm going to put the uh, controller onto the wall. So this is step two really. Let's go and have a look and see what we've done in the engine room. Engine room. So down there, we've got them coming from the cabin. And then I've just put them down here with a bit of um, cable ties. Just put, you can see the new cable there comes along and we've got my buzz bars there so just connecting it up to the to the buzz bars it's nice and simple you don't have to mess around you know just put it put it on there and then put the, the negative on there and then it's and then the two come along here it's probably up I actually bought three meters of cable which I think was just about the right amount and there uh, so there we are. So Jenny. Right. So okay. This is what we're looking for. This is the um I suppose it's the gland they call it it's for the um what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this on the roof. Put it back there. So, let's have a look. Back there. And uh, there you go, there. There's two holes. But, probably took about an hour to do that. And, um, person from the next boat down works in Midland Chandler's brought me this um, cutting and tapping fluid because um, I was drilling away and it was taking forever so you, um, you need the co cobalt um, drill bits cobalt metal drills, steel, hardened steel drill bits and even they take ages I use these just these draper ones, uh, which work all right, but you know, it's not. It just takes. And um, it comes with a little manual, so I'm just gonna gonna set it up before we connect the panel up. 
and we're just going to use we're not, this is the flexible panel but we're not going to use that at the moment we're just going to use um, just going to use an, one of the old ones just a portable panel just to, just to fire it up and sort of um, test it out a little bit maybe connect the cable from the panels to the um, to the gland which is down here so this one works all right we've got a little test it's the old Renogy or Renology or whatever they call it um, and that works all right so we're just gonna get the right distance of cable we come with this kind of one meter long cables there. I'm gonna just connect them up and I'm gonna connect it in parallel with the um, other the Renology one so that when I want to I can take take that other one off and um, just have the just the ones in the middle on their own so the next job is uh, connecting the connecting the panels up so we've got to cut the cable got to look at the cable and um, basically you've got a you've got these different items this is a crimp tool so we're going to crimp and we've got the um <coughs> the mc for the solar cable here and we're just going to get this is the end obviously the end of the cable i've already measured these out so we've basically got the uh we've got the end of the cable there and what we're going to do is we're just going to going to crimp this thing on so we've got that there we're just going to crimp it on with the crimpers so it goes on like that these two connectors here they were both the same length so I had to cut those and crimp and put the new MC4 connectors on to get this cable and then run it along the rail just to make sure it's the same length roughly you can't get it the same length completely but it's within a meter so I'm um, going to put some more connectors on the end of that that was used so that's just some MC4 connector cable solar cable standard stuff I think it's about 4mm or something and then I connected it up to this which is the gland and um, not, so we're going to go and just have a look at the uh, have a look at the, the readout down here so let's have a look monitoring and we press OK 41.56 volts and um, we scroll through a little bit load that's when you put a load we don't do that at the moment what's well, the controller just to check that it's uh, functioning as it should uh, that's your PV so that's the solar panels themselves at the moment it says 80 88 watts so, I mm, guess that's all right. 41 volts, 2.1 amps. Um, so there you go. Battery 13.4, and then you've got some energy readouts. The date. So, the batteries themselves are at 41.4 volts, and they're knocking out two amps. Um, the fridge is on at the moment, which has got a bit of a drawer on it. So. That's it for connecting them. Um, so that's step four. And um, yeah, it's gone okay. Step five is actually attaching them to the roof, which is going to be the final step. And obviously, before you do that, we're going to have to make sure that the lengths are correct before we start to put in uh, solid stuff. So um, yeah, that's step four done. And um, I'm just going to just um, wait a little bit and then once I'm happy that everything's alright then um, 
we'll just fix them permanently to the roof. Just going to um, stick them down now, there you go. This is, um, just the last part to put the, um, secure them to the roof. So I've got the, um, no, I'd leave that on. You would never be able to read it. I don't want to read it. Okay. Somebody else might though. Um, the glue's behind you there, and I just want to grab the glue. What? It's all right. I've taken the cap off already. You, do you want me to do it, or, or are you going to do it? You do that. I don't, don't want to do it. All right, I'll do it. Film me then. Film me doing it. I have to turn it around then. That's it. So we're just going to do a little. I suppose we'll do in about a quarter of an inch. Yeah. Doesn't need a lot, does it? I think we just need to make sure they don't blow off in the wind and stuff. So. Mm-hmm.